hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm going to be doing a full set on these nails today thank you guys so much for tuning in and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already to prep her natural nails i'm going to be removing her cuticles using the cuticle bit and then using a fine sanding band to etch the surface of each nail Here you'll see me using the sanding band to round out the corners of her natural nails so that the forms will sit nicely once I apply them. I'm going to be using extra long forms today. I'm going to be using the numbers on the forms to help me sculpt the nails to an extra long length. I'm going to apply primer to each nail and then get started on my acrylic application. This first layer of acrylic that I'm going to lay down is basically the layer that I'm using as a base coat so that when she comes back for her fill, I can drill down whatever color I put on top of this clear and start over with a new color on top of the clear. This base coat of Ice Ultra Clear Acrylic is going to be very, very thin, but it will help prevent the colored acrylic from staining the natural nail. So I'm now going to go in with my colored acrylic and finish building up the nail. And once I'm done with my colored acrylic, I'm going to encapsulate it in Ice Ultra Clear as well. I'm applying my color as thin as possible so that when I encapsulate it in the Ice Ultra Clear, it won't make the nails too thick or bulky. This next color is called Mermaid Mirror and it's one of my favorite colors that we just released on Ctones.com.
as a nail tech when doing nails this long usually my clients tag is anywhere between 150 to 200 dollars and the reason why is because i'm not only spending a lot of time on this length of nails but i'm also using enough product for about three average sets so i as the nail tech need to be compensated for not only that amount of time and that skill but also that product that i'm using So once the acrylic is completely dry, I'm going to remove the forms and I'm going to start on the shaping process. I'm going to start using my extra coarse sanding band and that's going to just help me speed up the process a little bit. Because these nails are a little bit on the thick side, I'm also going to be using my extra coarse sanding pan to thin them out a little bit. I will be using an 80 grit hand file to complete my shaping today. I enjoy the 80 grit hand file. I used to use the 100 grit hand file, but you can also get away with using a grit all the way up to 180. It's about you and what you're more comfortable with. I personally like a lower grit file because I believe it gets the job done much faster. I will now be using a medium sanding band to blend over the surface of each nail. And the sanding bands that I'm using and also the 80 grit hand files can be found on my Amazon store located in the description. So I'm going to be matte top coating these nails and also using a little bit of foil gel to start a foil design. So to finish off, I'm going to cut out some of these lace foils from California Boutique. I'm going to apply the foils on top of a cured foil gel and then top coat it. I'm now going to be moisturizing my client's fingers and cuticles using this body butter from Melanin Cosmetics. And then I'll be showing you guys the finished result. So here is the final product, guys, of these glow-in-the-dark halloween joker slash frankenstein nails thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you check us out on ctones.com for these cool acrylic colors and we're on facebook instagram and youtube god bless